Hello, Home and Stead team. I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell, and this is your November 21st, 2022 Monday Motivator. I'm wearing my blaze orange because I'm in the woods and it is deer season in Wisconsin. Now, I know we have team members that live outside of Wisconsin, and it may not be the same where you are, but Wisconsin is just engrossed with deer hunting culture. You may love it, you may hate it, but it is a part of this week uh, for you. You will see deer all around and you'll see hunters all around. I was raised hunting, but not deer hunting. I, I hunted for dove and for duck and uh, did that with my dad and my brother and loved doing it. But when I moved up to Wisconsin, I had no familiarity at all with deer hunting. And finally, I had some friends that I'd been duck hunting with that invited me to go. So about 12 years ago, I started deer hunting. And I'm a lousy deer hunter. I'm not very good. Now, I've, I've gotten better and I'm better than some people, but the way I've gotten better is much like everything else in life. At We Care Senior Care, we focus on the growth mindset, which says that you can grow in most things. They're not just skills that you're just born with. And I have gotten better at deer hunting by learning that craft, by focusing, by figuring out what I've done wrong and what I've done right. The reason I bring it up is not so much to talk about deer hunting, uh, but to talk about Thanksgiving. This is the week where we celebrate Thanksgiving. Thursday, so many of us will celebrate Thanksgiving Day. It's a day where we're supposed to focus on gratitude. And I am convinced that gratitude, well, while some people may be naturally more grateful than others, it is also a learned skill. It's something that we, we get better at by doing more of it, by focusing on what am I truly grateful for? Rather than one day a year just saying thank you, we begin to say thank you every day. My faith teaches me that I should give thanks in all circumstances. And what that lets me know is that no matter what the circumstances are, there are things that I can look for and say, this is a gift that I have received. I've done nothing to earn this. And the appropriate response is gratitude. I think gratitude shapes the way we respond to others. I think it shapes the way we respond to other circumstances. And I hope this week that you have a truly grateful week. I would love to hear what you're grateful for. for from kids to grandkids to friends to food to a warm place. I would love to hear what you're grateful for. And if you need help in practicing that gratitude, please contact me and I will be your buddy to help you practice that gratitude. My contact information is always at the end of every one of these videos. But remember, just like my deer hunting, and I have gotten better, gratitude is an acquired skill. It is not just something that you were born with, it's something you developed. Now I wanna give you a gift that I think you can be grateful for. Albert Selker, uh, the president of We Care Senior Care asked if I wouldn't create an Advent booklet because the season of Advent is coming up and in my faith tradition and in Albert's uh, faith tradition also, Advent is the period, the four Sundays before Christmas where we focus on the coming of Christ. So I've created an Advent uh, booklet for you. It has a guide on how to, to practice Advent with some scripture and some prayer and uh, some songs. Also, there's a way to do an Advent wreath in here. I'm going to include a digital copy of this uh, on the link on the video. And also, there'll be some of these in the offices. If you'd like one, just message me. I'll send it to you. It's a good way to practice Advent. But if you remember nothing else from this video, remember this. Our CEO, God, cares for you, and so do I. Have a great week, okay?